calves are born without any protective immunity. They only receive protection once they absorb antibodies from colostrum, which is the first milk the cow produces after calving. This protection covers the calf until they can develop their own immunity, which begins at three to four weeks of age. Antibodies in colostrum are large proteins that are absorbed by the calf. The ability of the calf to absorb these antibodies decreases every hour from birth and stops by the time the calf is 24 hours old. This is the reason why ensuring adequate colostrum intake as quickly as possible after birth is so critical. It is recommended that 3 litres are given within 2 hours of birth from the cow's first milking. The quality of colostrum can be improved by providing strategic vaccination to the dam and ensuring she has adequate nutrition throughout the dry period. The role of proper nutrition in supporting immune function cannot be overemphasized and one directly influences the other. The main goal of vaccinating cows pre-calving is to maximize protection against calf scars caused by rotavirus, coronavirus and E. coli. For this type of vaccination to be effective in transmitting protection to the newborn calf it must be delivered at the correct dose and be given at the correct time. It takes about two weeks for a cow to respond to this vaccination, so it needs to be given three to 12 weeks before calving. A separate vaccine is available to protect calves against scour caused by salmonella. The timing of this vaccination is a bit more complex depending on if you want to reduce scours caused by salmonella or abortions caused by salmonella. Farmers should work with their vet to create a suitable vaccination program specific to their farm. Pre-calving vaccinations stimulate production of antibodies in the cow, which are then directed towards the mammary gland when she begins producing colostrum providing a first line of immunity to the newborn calf within hours of birth. It should be noted, however, that scour prevention isn't as simple as using a vaccination and vaccines should not be seen as a silver bullet, but as an important tool in disease control. Preventing calf scour is a combination of many factors, including provision of a warm, clean, well-ventilated environment and ingestion of good quality colostrum from well-nourished, healthy, vaccinated cows.